Uh, the, the metaphor you're using, it does seem to play on a lot of our Western understanding of the judicial system that's only been around for the past couple hundred years. Do you use this metaphor for the sake of your audience and the context that you're uh, Do I use which metaphor? The metaphor of like the judicial system and legalities. Oh. Do you use it for, because you're speaking to a Western audience and that's how we best understand our No, no, no. This, this, uh, this is the book of Romans. The, you read the book of Romans and you exegete what Paul has to say. And it is a forensic verdict on the part of God, the righteous judge. Uh, before the bar of God's justice, humanity stands condemned. But then God offers a pardon whereby, uh, although we could not earn righteousness, it is through faith that we are reckoned righteous. We are declared righteous by God. Uh, and um, therefore, Paul says, there is now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. The book of Romans is through and through a forensic treatment of justification and atonement. And that's why I take that approach, not to connect with modern day audiences.